What's up you guys, Dan here. Uh, for today's upload, we're gonna talk about uh, Bufferfest. I'm not there this year, but last year I was in the Bufferfest, or attended Bufferfest, and somewhere on these hard drives, I've got a vlog from that weekend. So I'm gonna find it, we're gonna talk about that today, and today's gonna be kind of like a mega vlog style. Mega vlog. As long as I can find that info, so. Thursday, September 27th, let's get rocking. So I got here to my Airbnb today and just crashed. See what time I was up this morning? What's that? 3.45? 3.50 I set my alarm for. I was exhausted. But now we're going to go meet a client. It's raining outside, so I got my jacket. Going to fill up on some coffee. Oh, and we're gone. Raining. I arrived in Toronto. I had no clue really about the whole YouTube scene. I was only a couple months into YouTubing and really wasn't doing very well off it. But it was raining and I went down to Union Station around where Bufferfest was happening because I figured I'd run into some YouTubers and I did. Oh no, I don't know. They just get so raining, uh, interesting story. I ended up running into three YouTubers at Grand Central Station in Toronto. We're getting out of here and for the first time ever, I'm taking my daily vlog to Canada. More specifically, we're going to Toronto to the Buffer Film Festival started by Corey Vidal. The amazing part of the YouTube community is all three of them were very down to earth, very like genuine, very polite, and it was great to actually like will stop them from what they were doing, but also just have like a neat conversation. And like, I tell you, I was so out of my element. I was a little starstruck and I was also just oblivious to the amount of YouTube stuff that's going on all the time. Anyway, so uh, training session done today, meeting done. I'm gonna get home, get some lunch. I'm gonna keep talking about uh, the whole weekend. That evening was the events gala or the premiere night of a bunch of YouTubers premiere videos, which was absolutely amazing to check out. I'll run a little montage clip of the evening right now. And the next part of the vlog will be explaining what went on the other days when I went to the sessionals because that was a super, super cool, tremendous opportunity. and. Myself, who's a novice YouTuber, I learned a ton of stuff that I can actually, or that I applied in all of my videos, which improved all the aspects of my videos, which probably improved engagement, which increased uh, the amount of people that were watching it for the amount of time. So it, it was awesome. I don't know what else to say, but I, yeah, I'm gonna get dressed and uh, we'll continue on with the story. And my Airbnb is not just a white room. It's actually really cool, the condo, and like all around in the area, but you'll see that eventually. Like right now, there's nothing to see. <clears throat> this is my ironing board for today. The Buffer Festival, which is a YouTube festival, kicking off here one minute ago so I gotta get I gotta get nicer looking get into my suit and 
Nice quick. Looking good. Got the red socks on because it's buffer fest and red is the color. <coughs> Check it. Nice, hey? We gotta get rocking to the Bufferfest award show, so so let's get let's get going. This guy right here. Yo, this is the guy. This is the guy. No, hey, this is the guy. Regina, I'm going, I'm coming, and we're gonna collab, and he's gonna freaking kill it. A vlog is a day. Sans the interruptions and the boring parts. Sharing your journey with a whole bunch of people, and that's awesome. But it is relentless. It's awkward now and awesome later. It's blog recording to your phone. It's a time out of your life. What should I do? What is the answer to all of this? Echoes. Thank you guys for letting me be here tonight, and I am so proud to introduce the amazing music that's going to climax this evening. So the award nights, they were super, super interesting and I was pretty blown away by the YouTube celebrities that were there and also the quality of the premiere videos that were going on. So it was a really, really neat experience. So part of me did regret not going to party with the, all the YouTubers. I think it would have been a phenomenal time. And in terms of like my YouTube career, would have been an incredible opportunity to really, I think, propel myself up in whatever it is we do on YouTube to get more exposure out there. Just being with all of the large YouTubers that, that they attract a huge viewing. So safe to say if they're doing vlogs, probably going to get some overlap in there. But whatever, it is what it is. So I ended up not partying that night and actually went home back to my Airbnb so I could actually get some work done, which actually turned out to be good because the two days of workshops that I was actually attending or planned to attend uh, turned into one day. I actually ended up flying home on Saturday evening to meet Michelle in Saskatoon for an awards night. So my, so my experience got cut short. So next you're gonna see a little bit of a snapshot of the day at the workshops and uh, we'll we'll catch up a little bit later and sign off this vlog all right before I do that I'm gonna throw up the big thumbs up if you haven't already a like to this video goes a long way for me if it was too long or you didn't really like it sure give it a thumbs down let me know either way up or down as well if this is the first time coming across my channel consider subscribing I'll definitely be getting a lot more content uploaded to you guys real soon I think it's uh, it's gonna be a good sunset night tonight. It has been for the last little while. So let's head to check that out and let's get this vlog signed off. So I didn't get to finish off yesterday's vlog, so I'm just gonna continue it on today. All packed up, ready to go. I remember saying that I would give you a quick tour of this place. What kind of vlog host would I be if I didn't? So I'm going to give you a quick tour. This vlog's going to sign off and next vlog's going to start in moments. And I mean, I can do that because it's my vlog. And what I learned about yesterday at Bufferfest, there's really no rules of vlogging. So just run with it. A small but nice bathroom setup. There's huge windows here, great lighting, perfect for vlogging, but I haven't really utilized that. Let's head upstairs. That there's really nothing of interest, just laundry unit and three closed doors. So, I got nothing to show you. Off to the Metro Convention, Metro Toronto. Are you coming with me? Let's go. It's actually. 
actually awesome to go back to previous footage, especially from when I started sort of all the YouTube uploads and getting better at videography is going back to see the improvements that I've done. That actually, that time lapse was, I think the first time I really got how to get manual settings. Side note, a mason jar is a great tool when you need to take food on the go, whether it be a little bit of BCAAs, I'm not going to talk about BCAAs, but a little bit of BCAAs and water, or you need to throw protein powder and some almond milk and some water in here, or heck, you need to take some stew or soup or anything or food, make your stir fry, throw it in here and go. Different sizes, different sizes of mason jars gives you a lot of opportunity. Back to what I was saying, seeing seeing the improvements on my videography year after year or after last year being my first year to this year, significant improvements and it's awesome to go back and watch that. So let's get back into it. Just had to take a quick call with the client and you know, giving you some visuals while you're waiting. <clears throat> Okay, so speaking of visuals, last night I saw the premiere of Ben Brown's Visual Vibes for the Arctic. I'll link him below, but an incredible videographer, vlogger as well. I think he's at 1100 vlogs or something like that, but definitely a guy you should check out. And I don't have any of his Visual Vibes of the Arctic, but maybe we'll put the Canada one up here. Check it out. It's Awesome. He's an incredible man and an incredible videographer, YouTuber, extraordinaire, amazing dude. Check him out. Had an incredible panel this morning. It was on uh, branding your YouTube beacon. So again, for me, learned a lot with that. Got a little bit of a break here. My next one is what's the panel? Oh yeah, making this your job, and then the landscape of 360 video. Really, really interesting because 360 video like we've talked about is so new and different and hasn't really been captured in the right way. So I've got a little bit of break here. I'm gonna check into my I'm gonna check into Air Canada and maybe grab a quick bite and then I gotta head to the airport at some point. I find that super slick. The check-in already sends to your phone. I'm all good to go. I've got no check bags. So let's head to the next session. Second last workshop today. What mm -hmm. happened? So two really amazing sessionals. Let's fix that. So side note, uh, it looks like some major Snapchatter was using our filter, the driven filter, like this. So we had a filter at the Buffer Festival yesterday, which was awesome. Uh, gaining some traction, some positive reviews from it. Had two amazing panels already today. One was on 360 video and using that as like a landscape. The other one was on like going to YouTube full time. So really inspired with that. Got a client to meet. I'm gonna try to make it back here and then fly out later tonight. So super inspired. Made some good connections with some great YouTubers, even some people that want to get into that YouTube space. So I guess I want to encourage everyone that's watching this, if there's something you're thinking of doing in the future, just do it today. Do it now. Create good content online, continue to build off it, and it will happen. If you want it to happen overnight, that's not going to happen. If you want to grow exponentially or perfect what you're doing before you make it uh, live, that's not going to happen. Just do it today. Create several phases of it, improve on it, and run with it. That's all I got for you right now, and we gotta get rocking.
two minutes to change shower and get back into the suit. Two nights in a row, two suits. Without a doubt, it was a super amazing and incredible experience. Best part about the whole thing is I was completely out of my comfort zone and out of my element, but I took advantage of the opportunity. I could have probably done a little bit more, but I did as much as I could based on the fact that I wasn't actually there for that reason. Um, but it was incredible and where it actually like pushes me, this year I'm not at Bufferfest, although although I really would have liked to go to Bufferfest, it just was not in the cards. But where this is going to push me, and this is on vlog 41 going forward, this is going to push me to create like some better quality content on a more frequent basis. So next year I am hopefully at Bufferfest and able to um, debut a video. That's what I'm trying to get across. So you heard it here on the vlog and that's my goal going into next fall of 2018. So watch it. Um, that said, never underestimate the power of positivity and optimism. Really the only way to go because the alternative will never read you the success that you want. We're gonna check out a little bit of this sunset and we're gonna sign off the evening with that. So I hope you guys are enjoying wherever it is that you are and if you get this in time and it's up in time and you're at Bufferfest, I hope you enjoy it. Or also those who went to Bufferfest, uh, let me know how it goes because I'm really jealous that I'm not there. So check it. Same day, different outfit, different suit than yesterday too. We're here in Saskatoon and Michelle's nominated for an award tonight. We're gonna go out, have a good night. I'm exhausted, but hey, 